but the burn our bomb may be gracing our screens here on Lee Down Gardens as uh, both teams, you know, still deciding what they want to go with. Dive goats is can be very popular here. Team MV seems to prefer the Reinhardt. Trill definitely, you know, shines the most on Reinhardt rather than the Winston. So McG McGravy, I mean, we just we were just hyping your bombs, man. I don't know about this May pick, but Fusion University may well have naced on the far one of his strongest DPS looks with Snillo on that Sombra. Really, really excited. This is going to be so good for zone control if Fusion University can cap that point first. If you're a far, you want to be in that defending position. Snillo can hack up those health packs, make it so difficult that even when Team Envy are on their side of the map, they can't be 100% comfortable, make use of those big packs. And Envy not going to be really making up too many swaps here. Crimzo on the Moira, that's going to be a deviation from his usual Zenyatta, uh, but this is going to give them the sustain that they need against the heavy damage coming in from Nice, who almost has 40% up to that barrage. You know, to be completely honest with you, Ham, it could be higher. The defense matrix management was very, very good coming from Team Envy, so they came in with as much HP as they started with, and that was all of it, and they were able to push Fusion University off just based on positioning of the point, and Team Envy do cap it to start things off here, and now Fusion University have to figure out a way to get back on. It's going to be a lot harder without their main tank. Oh, yeah, no, that's definitely going to be reset for Fusion, oh. but no, nice no, throws no, in the not, rockets. Oh, man, Sunny with a chance of rockets, and Team Envy did not bring any umbrellas here, but Sharp still lasering through. Are there going to be enough bodies for Fusion University? Yes, they invest the trance and the res. Well, they used the trance to make sure that Mercy was safe during that res, but it doesn't seem to matter as Triller, player to watch for Team Envy do, does find two kills there, one on a Farah. Reinhardt's don't kill Farahs very often, so that's yeah. got to feel good. Uh, yeah, it's, I mean, it's a it's almost like a trick. Trill's like, I just walk forward and smash my hammer into all these, un, you know, all these Fusion squishies who have been grabbed. It seems almost too good to be true, but Fusion University, an overinvestment, absolutely. Changsik got there way too late, and Team Envy, they invested almost everything they have, but they're going to have to Earth Shatter next, and Fusion University will just have this uh, EMP. Well, the EMP comes after the Earth Shatter, and the rest of Team Envy don't have their cooldowns. They could bail them out of the situation, but Changsik going down first again. This is a 6v5 for Team Envy. They're in complete control right now. Fusion University doesn't seem like they've recovered from that first take yet. Not quite. They're still stumbling after tripping with that investment of the Barrage and the Trance and Team Envy almost 70%. Fusion University got one, maybe two more good pushes here. And while those uh, DPS ultimates are charging very quickly, the same can't be said for Alarm's Transcendence. You really need it against Sharp's Grab, which you know he's going to have sooner rather than later. Well, Team Envy does have a combo of their own, and it's that Earth Shatter into Self Destruct that can win the round for Team Envy. It's, if it's able to land, the Earth Shatter is going to get nice. He's going to be the only one to fall victim to it, and he's going to go down. This is a 6v4 right now for Team Envy. They are in complete control of their destiny to finish out this round as Eugene University is only coming in with the Self Destruct, but with Alarm with that res, anything can happen, especially now that Fire is gone as well. Things have really evened up. Actually, Fusion University does have a numbers advantage here if they all do come back at six. And now the Graviton Surge coming from Sharp, though, going to try to get Team Envy back on the top. And Crimson is going to do his best as well as Team Envy starting to win out on it this fight. Nice, though, getting the gravy out of that mech means that they're going to have a little less beef on Team Envy's size as this brawl right now on the point continues. Yeah, and it is overtime, Boop, so we have to remember that Fusion University take even a toe off of the point right now is just Bernar struggling to hold on. Elf, pop that Valkyrie. That's no longer going to be online and no bodies on the point either for Fusion University and unexpectedly Team Envy racking up an early round win. Man, you should have seen the eye contact Ham and I just gave <laughs> it to was each weird. other. It was that it was like it was a good what face. Yeah. Right? Like it was that was dominant. Team Envy looked like the better team and Fusion University still don't feel like they've recovered from that awkward first fight. It was an awkward first fight. We do have to remember, though, that they're trying to innovate, change things up. Running a pharmacy, a Sombra dive, even on Lee Young Gardens is not that conventional these days, especially against GOATs. Team Envy, though, we have to give credit to this team. They played very disciplined. That's often where we see GOATs fall to those uh, shield-breaking compositions is when, you know, we have those mispositionings, and it's so easy for a far to rain down some rockets. Even removing one member of these tanks will give 
Union University such an advantage, but no, Team Envy never gave them the opportunity. Now we're back on Night Market. Team Envy, if they rack up this win as well, they will take the early lead against the former Season 2 champions. Yeah, Stillo and Chongsik already very low in this first fight. Team Envy, the very opposite is Jaru is going to get Chongsik in the end, who has died first in about every single fight we have seen so far. So Fusion University functioning with five people for the majority of Lijong Tower, and they're going to smartly give Team Envy this point. Yeah, Chongsik, uh, he did go down very early on that Winston. He was either dying first or getting to the fight a little too late. Feels bad. Um, but Fusion University, they do have another shot here. Alarm will have this transcend is likely for the next push. So Fusion University can come in very aggressively should they choose. Team Envy will also have that enlightenment healing online, but only that. Yeah, Chongsik trying to assert his dominance just a little bit, get a little bit more charge. They're going to trade kills. This time, Trill's going to be the first to go down. And with the brick going down on the other side, this is pretty even, but you're going to want that Reinhardt a little bit more. Sharp getting close to that Graviton Surge, already at 100 energy, trying to push that damage in it to the rest of Fusion University. But Jari's going to go down with that rally. Graviton Surge does come out. Are they going to be able to burst down Chongsik? No, because McGravy was already at low. He's going to lose the mech and his life, and they will be losing this point unless Team Envy pulls something out like they are right now, particularly with the boop kill onto Chongsik. So Fusion University had that fight in the bag, but right now they've just given Team Envy more percentage points. Yeah, it was so back and forth right there. The boop from Fire to confirm the kill onto Chongsik was the deciding factor here for Team Envy. Otherwise, Fusion University, they had the sooner respawn. Team Envy wisely as well. You see Trill right there measuring his aggression, waiting to go back in. Takes down two by himself. Now he's going to have this Earth Shatter. Snillo pops that rally. Jaru has just popped it as well. Tons of armor all around. And so that damage mitigation is going to be available for both teams. So we are on even footing on both sides. Out there is available as well. But the Earth Shatter is going to be coming out from Team Envy. Oh, some nice uh, dislocation from going into Trill, making sure that pin does miss. The Graviton Surge is not going to get anything. Transcendence is there for Team Envy. One more ultimate for them, and then that is to self-destruct. The Graviton Surge is going to be up very soon. Alarm, though, still has that Transcendence. It looks like Elk was taken very low, but somehow does survive. Here's our first bigger bang, and it's not going to do anything. That bigger bang is that self-destruct into the Graviton from the only times we do see big kills happen. The Earth Shatter now coming from Fusion University is going to cause Chong Six death, but there are no Reinhardts on either side now. So this is a 5v5, and Fusion University need to win this. Crimson's going to make it a little bit harder for there. The no mech versus no sharp, though, is going to make things even. But Jaru going down. Fusion University do have a handle on this fight. You've seen way more green bodies on the point, but that didn't seem to matter last time. They have to clean it up, and they have to make sure they do it this time. Yeah, they can't just expect that the win will come their way, that Team Envy will give them that latitude no, finally, in the 13th hour, Fusion University do manage to flip that point. But boy, Envy did not want to give that up. I love the life that we're now seeing breathed into this team. Every single point is a struggle there. They're not giving Fusion University any easy fights, even up against, again, the former champions the here. Right? And yeah, and we saw right there Fusion University, Elk trying his darndest to try and make up for some of those early picks. Really good groups from this guy so far. A uh, really good particle barrier on to Trill after that shield that's laid on him. Chonks going to go down thanks to great Earth Shatter from Trill, who's been popping off and hyper-consistent so far for Team Envy. Self-destruct now from McGravy going to be, oh, even the objective and finding two at kills. This is Team Envy's fight to lose. Fusion University only percentage points comes from this map. It will end around 37 to 40% if Team Envy is able to clean things up. Hammond making it a little bit difficult, but this is Team Envy's round and will be its map. There we have it. Team Envy standing tall, proud as Overtime Wick burns down and they will capture the very first win in this quarterfinals against Fusion University. Dude, we said That's it before. That's a wow. What, hey, LaFon, if you're out there, what map is most competitive? Maybe it will be Control. Look at these underdogs coming in here. Fusion University had the welcome mat yanked out from underneath their feet. They fell, they slipped early. It's like when you slide down the first step of the stairs, you miss that first step and you just like- Then all of the stairs become really scary, All of the right? stairs, like you can't possibly catch yourself again. And it kind of felt like Fusion University just weren't expecting that aggression. Beautiful Earth Shatter from Trill to take that flanking angle, catch Chongsik off guard, who is really having a hard time right now. The struggle and McGravy throwing in that 2K and not just the 2K. I want you to look at Fire's boop kill onto Snillo as well. Fusion University, they all huddle into that corner and Fire knows exactly where they're going to be on the edge. Very dangerous. He's just drooling for that boop kill onto, you know, somebody who he would normally never win against head to head on that Brigida. And everybody from this MV team seem to be firing on all cylinders. They're all on the same page. Well, even really small things like Trill there, making sure that the shield came at an angle where the rest of his team didn't have to worry about that bomb. He, mm -hmm. They only needed an investment 
just one thing and it was Trill's attention. Yeah. Everyone else got to do what they needed to do to get those kills. And the other thing that's really crazy, if you gave me this game and said that one of these teams is the number one seed overall and the favorite and the other, you know, barely made it in, needed help from another team to who do would it, you think who it would you think right? it would? And I would think the opposite from what we just saw. Yeah, and these big boop kills, we can't overemphasize this. We talk a lot about, we see a lot of bigger bang combos. I saw on Twitter, you know, hey, we've seen, we're seeing a lot of successful diva bombs, but that's because you need those clean setups against which there is no counterplay because these days everybody has a transfer sound barrier for your regular graviton surge but look at fire again just getting that last couple of bits of hp off of chunks they're finishing off that kill and uh and and team envy they're looking for those ways to eke out those kills they're like okay maybe head to head death ball to death ball we're having a harder time or we did during the season but where can we you know find a kill here or there and boops are one of those ways there's no counterplay you get hit by it you fall off the edge and you just die he was the only one available to push damage into that reinhardt because mm -hmm. the shield was the only one behind him and he was able to get the value out of that as well taking chunk sick down but now we're going to be off to our second map which will be Numbani. and so lijong tower did go the way of envy the boys in blue <laughs> feeling so good right now uh, up one at zero against the tournament favorites the fusion university but now that we're going to be on hybrid remember this is a first to three so this isn't a best of five or best of seven is whatever team it gets to three first and right now envy is in the lead but numbani can change things yeah and numbani is unique amongst our you know hybrid map pool as well in a very very difficult point a take and it's not just that you know it's it's hard to capture that first point before you can even think about that payload but just you know gee Geographically speaking, the point A spawns for the attackers is so far away, it's almost equidistant to the defenders. So you aren't going to be able to just rely on the spawning advantage to finally, you know, scrap out a win on point A. No, you need a very concerted push, almost like attacking an assault point. So NB are on the defense right now here, so they're going to have to, you know, their their heroes are already set. It's going to be that dive goats with Trill on the Winston. And Fusion University, they've shown this look with great success before. We saw them try and bring it out earlier in Gardens. It didn't quite work out, but hey, Nace, this is another bite of the apple for you. Well, it's going to be a little easier. This is a little bit more friendly. I think too far right now this particular attack from fusion university nice though rained rockets from above against atlanta it was a huge reason why atlanta wasn't able to come back mm -hmm. yeah and now he has that same burden on his shoulders once again snillo on that sombra looking for some early hacks just for a little bit of scouting it's nice staying very disciplined in his positioning right here threatening that high ground trying to force team envy to drop onto the actual objective i am super impressed by mcgravy's defense matrix uh handling here making sure that only minimal damage does get to the rest of the team and the rest of them are pretty healthy except Trill who looks really good and this time he's going to slap Nice right in the face. Let's see if Jaru is going to get the kill as well. It looks like Bernard is going to go down so Fusion University, oh, both teams now functioning without their D.Va. So this is an EV, even 5v5 but it looks like Team Envy are going to maintain on the defense Fusion 1-6. Uh, Fusion, they don't want to press their luck too much but they do have an invisible Sombra who can go in behind and Nace drops the barrage. Oh, that's the second time that's happened, right? You know, <laughs> we, we switch sides, we're good. Nice is going to get the triple kill barrage. Barrage, and that's all that you're gonna need. So it doesn't matter how good McGravy was with that defense matrix. In the end, the rocket barrage was enough. Yeah, Fusion University waiting very patiently. It's not often you see the ground Farah barraging with success. Uh, but the loss, even though both sides lost the diva, the loss of McGravy hurt Envy that much more because she is the only one who can go get into a Farah's face, try it. and deny her at range. Unfortunately, overextended a little bit too much. And Fusion University gonna be working with Snillo close to that EMP. So I'm gonna keep him on that hero. But nice swapping over over to the Zara for the longer fight. Yeah, Elk, the only one with an ultimate. A couple will be coming online for both teams. The Transcendence on Crimzo is one of them. The EMP from it, Snillo, as well as the Transcendence, will be online for this next fight. So Fusion University, do you have a little bit of an advantage during a streets phase? Snillo is going to get that EMP and translocate away. He obviously just wanted that charge. And now the rest of Team Envy really need to be looking out for that Sombra. Yeah, it's really hard. You got to keep your left eye to the fight in front and the right one behind. And so it looks like it's going to come from everywhere as the EMP is going to hit a lot of Team Envy, but not the Transcending Crimzo. That's going to prove to be the exact counter they need for that EMP. Fusion University not getting any value out of that EMP, and the Valkyrie was popped as well. Chongsik did just come up on a Primal Rage, so it's up to them on how much they want to invest in this attack. When you hear that roar, my friends, that is Chongsik on that Primal Rage. He's going to be throwing some Fisticuffs in the middle of a Team Envy, and he's going to be dislocating a ton of them and dislodging them from that ball that goes really, really loves. The Self-Destruct is out now, but it's not going to get anybody. Fusion University will have a Self-Destruct of their own. They have already invested all of their ultimates, both teams have. Bernard is going to have the last one. It's going to be that self-destructive elk going down. It's a huge kill for Team Envy. No support.
supports for Fuji University, they're gonna have to reset. Oh, absolutely, and Nice even threw in that Graviton Surge. Ooh, and we see it starting to see the discipline slipping a little bit from Fusion University, and this is not what we are used to from this team. Nice, he had to know they lost so many members, they couldn't possibly come back from that fight. Is there gonna be a hero swap? Nope, it's just gonna be a sorry, guys. Uh, but you, as we saw right there, Team Envy able to tempo their support ultimate so much better. Just when Fusion University had the trance spooked out of an alarm, we have Fire doubling down with that sand barrier, pushing Fusion University out of position, and now Fisher will be the one waiting to drop that black hole. And there is no support ultimate available for Fusion University, so this is going to find some value if it's going to get that unwilling hug around the team. Trill, though, going to be going down to Fusion University. Some numbers with the Graviton Surge, and you're seeing exactly why the support ultimates are so important. All of Fusion University go back to spawn because there was no way to counter that grab. Yeah, and they have still have no ultimates to their name. Snillo doesn't have that rally on hand just now, starting to build back up to it. And Team MV, however this next fight goes, they will at least have their own rally and that Earth Shatter into potentially McGravy's bomb. He hasn't really needed a ton of help from his Zarya's or his Reinhardt's to set those kills up so far, but it, you know, doesn't really hurt. What they do need to watch out for Team Envy is that they now have no support ultimates to their name. Nice, just about 45% to that grab, but you always have to keep that in mind because Fusion University loved that long fight and Nice, a more than capable Zarya, he could build it up very quickly. Yeah, Fusion University though, only close to one ultimate. The Earth Shatter coming from Cholar, gonna knock three onto the ground and two will be going back to spot. Fusion University will not have another opportunity on this attack. They're gonna have to wait one more, but the bad part here, Ham, is that they didn't develop any more ultimate charge. No, it was kind of a game of footsie. Fusion University, unwilling to cross that line, actually put in uh, too much damage, so Team Envy took that window of opportunity, and they used their two ultimates the last fight, but now they're gonna have that grab and bomb combo. Fusion University, though, will have Alarms Transcendence on hand to counter, as well as potentially their own grab, so again, very back and forth around this cars. Yeah, Fisher looking for an opportunity to drop that grab, take that defense matrix down, or even get that D-Mac. That's the way that you know it's going to be guaranteed into the rest of the team. Fusion University still finally have that Graviton of themselves. They don't have any combos to go with it. Chong Sik, though, has been playing very aggressive. Could get that ultimate charge here very, very quickly. And now the Graviton Surge is going to go out onto Chong Sik's shield, and it's going to be finding value, maybe? Yes, Whoa! it will. Fusion University, though, are going to find more value out of their Graviton Surge. McGravy going to get that 4K. McGravy, man alive. Uh, the massive McGravy bombs. We, we got to come up with something for this diva as well. What a play right there. Trill waiting so patiently for that charge. It was like the lo I, I held my breath for maybe two seconds. It felt like an eternity right there, waiting for that bomb to come down. Now Fusion University whittled down to their last 60 seconds here. They will have a sound barrier. They could keep this fight alive for a little bit, but Team Envy have that and the trance. This is where experience does pay off. They can't freak out about this situation. They've been here before and they've been it successful. Chonksik going to get a good fire strike into the rest of Team Envy, but only going to beat their support some ultimates in instead. Chonksik already below with that armor. He's having a hard time staying healthy, and the kill bash and the Earth Shatter combo might be all Team Envy need to wrap this thing up as two kills coming from the boys in blue. Fuji University only have four members left. However, there are 35 seconds left on the clock. They will get another shot at this. And a painful stagger onto Alarm. Bernard as well. Fusion University will have one more shot here, but it's not going to be with their full six. May well not be. It's definitely going to be without Sans a sound barrier. Nice. He's got that grab at the ready. They haven't been very effective so far. He needs to pull off a grab of the sentry. Chongsik as well will be itching to show his counterpart who shatters better. Team Envy, they got to stay ready. They got to keep their supports alive. But they are going to have five ultimates. The supports are going to keep each other alive with those ultimates. That new universe, you only have one up. The shield bash on the Snillo, not going to find any value. The rally is still ongoing. Transcendence now popped from Team Envy before the grab does come out. That could prove to be a bad decision. The grab from Surge now coming from Fusion University, seeing the Transcendence run out, but no kills. But now Fisher's gonna throw one of himself. McGravy's gonna throw, oh, actually it was Bernard who threw out that bomb. No kills either. McGravy, though, is gonna get the kill onto Chonksik. Trill now getting that Urshire. Elk is on the ground. They do get Elk. Without that Lucio, they may not have an attack remaining. Fusion University, though, maintaining presence on at this point, and Team Envy actually seeding space right now. They don't have the throughput damage to handle what's left of Fusion University, but this rally, though, might be changing things. Yeah, rally changing things right here. You saw McGravy hiding in the corner, waiting to charge back up, get healthy, and now Jargo on the offensive right there. Oh, Snillo was so incredibly low. He's so close to that rally. Fusion now, they have everybody back, but Fisher is now on that tracer, trying to dance, run circles around Fusion University. If they could just get the bodies off of the payload, they will have sealed the deal. Uh, 
Electric coming from Nice, trying to wrap things up for Fusion University. Crimson, though, a little late with that transcendence, unable to save the Gravy's mech and Jaru's life. Nice, though, are at pretty high energy as well, doing some damage and able to protect the rest of Fusion University, who have not locked up this point just yet, but are very close to doing it. Team Envy unable to hold on here in a streets phase. Fusion University, after a massive struggle, are able to get their second point, but only a minute 26 left. Only a minute 26 left, but they did do it. Fusion University, gonna say it again, they really thrive on those long, drawn out fights. We even have Alarm coming in on that Tracer, doing good work, at least good distraction work. Uh, it just, you know, goes to show his aim isn't just for Zens, but Team Envy now, they're in the dangerous position. Fire may have that sound barrier, but depending on how aggressively Fusion want to push this, they have the ultimate advantage. And so they're gonna be seeing each other for the first time on this third point, and look at Shang Sik. He wants to make something happen. He wanted that ult charge, but Team Envy is having nothing of it. All the cooldowns used, and that's why you're seeing them kind of jostle for position again, waiting for these couple of seconds. The Gravy does have that self-destruct, gonna have to use it because of how low he was. Crimson, though, getting taken down early on, and no value coming out of that self-destruct means that Fusion University are gonna continue their momentum on this payload. And they didn't have to use any ultimates to do it. Actually, I take that back. Elk did pop that sound barrier just in case when the self-destruct was launched. Team Envy now, this is looking a little bit dicey. 28 seconds left. Can they last it out? Nice already has that grab. He may just go for that spawn grab. Let's make it so they can't even touch the payload. Man, they spent so much energy trying to hold on street space. We haven't seen that yet. Here on the third point is the Graviton Surge so gonna lock up all of Team Envy. The self-destruct is out, but no value coming from it. And trades have happened. That's gonna help Team Envy more than Fusion University. This 5v5, the Transcendence now unavailable for Team Envy. It has run out. Fusion University is gonna go with one of their own, but will it be enough? No health bars are really taken down other than Fisher right now, who's gonna end up killing himself. Hey, might as well do it yourself. Jaru, though, getting a kill, but the numbers are still in Fusion University's favor. Oh, look at this. Bernard somehow able to avoid the Earth Shatter, but the rest of his team having a harder time to do just that. Is nice. Gonna get a kill on it to a Trill. Switching to that Doomfist to make sure he's able to get back. Snillo gonna be doing the same thing on that Tracer. Bernard very, very close to getting D-Mech, but unable to do it. McGravy gonna try his hand at a bomb of his own. Oh. Will be getting nice as he was uppercutting in that time. He couldn't control exactly where he was gonna avoid that self-destruct. There we have it, and Team Envy, it is a 3v5. No, we have the Hammond rolling back in here. Alarm now on a different hero. It's gonna be a tank this time, but Jaru took down Elk. That's going to be huge. Now, their only healing gone. Cut away from Fusion University. A big Earth Shatter from Chomsic, though, but he himself falls, and that will be Team Envy holding Fusion University. Man, what a back and forth point three there. Fusion University unable to finish the map. Almost stopped on Streets phase. And we're finally stopped at the very end of Numbani, giving Team Envy an opportunity to take this map and get to match point. Things got really crazy here once Fisher did go down. Jaru had his back, but things got even here pretty quick. Yeah, it was so incredibly back and forth. And again, you have to remember, Team Envy came into this quarterfinals two and three. Fusion University are currently undefeated. Right, and so just kind of the level of play that we're starting to see from the underdogs here is really heartening me for what Team Envy may be bringing later on in the series. It was very scrappy back and forth. The defensive respawn certainly helping Team Envy out in that end. But uh, Fusion University, you're looking a little bit, uh, would you say, haggard? Haggard? I don't know about haggard, but everything just seems to be going slower, if that makes sense. Is that the same as haggard? <laughs> well, no, haggard I just tried tired. to avoid the fact yeah. that I don't think I know what that means. But, a, yeah. <laughs> but I, I mean, Team Envy right here, I've never seen Chongsik struggle so hard against yeah. an enemy Rhine. I think that's really throwing them for a loop right now. Usually when Chongsik shatters, you know, the team is there backing him up. He has massive fatty shatties, and we're not seeing that come through. No, no, not at all. Chongsik is going back to spawn more often than not first coming out of those fights. And when you're the first team to get a pick, which Team Envy has been the, the majority of these rounds so far, they've been ending up on top. And one thing I really want to point out from Team Envy is Trill. You know, we, we said this guy needs to be consistent. And he's really, really showed up as well as McGravy. Hey, we are in playoffs. You finally get over that jet lag and uh, <laughs> showing up in a big way for your team. That's exactly what Team Envy needs right now to maintain that momentum. There is a win condition. The golden box of victory beckons. Somebody is going to be losing and winning this round. And Fusion University can either tie things up or Team Envy will take a commanding lead heading into the half. Yeah, Jari trying to get some scouting done for Team Envy. He's found himself in a very interesting spot. The translocator gonna be very, very safe for him to come out. Make get some damage. But Fisher getting a kill on too nice with a nice swift strike. Snello is hacked, unable to get that one flip off onto him, but has already caused him to 
be moved off of the point. Fusion University having a hard time on this defense so far, as Fisher continuing to try to build to that Dragon Blade. Already got that kill onto Nice, who, you know, got picked off first. Now Elk is going to be vulnerable. He's going to have to Guardian Angel away. And the Swift Strike into a ton of the rest of Fusion University. Going to give him a lot of good ult charge already at 50%. Crimzo getting close to that Nano as well. Yeah, this is really dangerous territory. Ooh, Crimzo does need to live, however, but it's looking likely no, as I say that he goes down. Caster Curse is real, but again, these trades going to be favoring Team Envy, who already have two ticks to their name right here. However, that Valkyrie from Elk may well change things. You see Envy now backing off, yes, especially with the DMEC of McGravy, they're likely going to be cutting their losses here. Yep, the Valkyrie was popped, and that's going to be all the healing that they need, as Bernard is going to get a couple kills of his own as well. But the thing about both sides now is that they're coming up on those ultimates. Team Envy does have a Dragon Blade, and we've seen Dragon Blades win points many a time before. Especially Dragon Blades against no trance, no sound barrier available for Fusion University. The closest thing they may have is an EMP from Snillo, but he's still 20% away from that. Team Envy, especially with Crimzo's Nano online, and Jaru's EMP as well. Is this a return to the old lights off into the Ninja Blade? Well, Fusion University could use that Primal Rage to displace him as well, but it's got to be on top of it. Fisher has the Dragon Blade. Tons of ultimates on both sides at this point. Going to be four on each, six possibly from Team Envy by the time this engage actually starts happening. With the two minute warming warning upcoming, the Dragon Blade into Nano is going to be there. Going to be chasing Elk. Will he be getting that kill? Will be getting Alarm as well. But the rest of his team is struggling without him right now. This is a 4v4. The Nano has been depleted right now. Fisher trying his best to get back to the rest of the team. The EMP does miss Fisher, so he's going to have his cooldown full swap. Not going to get anything nice. Get taken down to pretty much one HP, but able to escape with his life. Chonksik dying with Primal Rage. That might have been the decision that he made to try to, you know, do this again in a streets phase, but I could have proved to be haunting for him. Team Envy now switching to a couple other characters to try to counter this. As Team Envy are trying to get back onto the point. Sound barrier now going to be launched for Team Envy for some reason. Fusion University now <laughs> is going to be coming back onto the point, but Bernard is going to be losing his mech. Yeah, a really interesting decision making from Team Envy here. They had a really hot defensive round, but now I think we're starting to see the lack of experience wearing on this team. So often, you know, chasing a kill may not have been been the best usage of a primal, for example, but Trill, you know, right now making up for it. Time to kill has been an issue for Team Envy on this attack so far. They do have a minute left, nearly have that, but they just need to evict one more angry monkey, and there we go. Yeah, so Chongsik holding on to that Primal Rage was able to take about 10 to 15 seconds off the clock in the end, but Team Envy are able to get that first point. Three minutes and 19 seconds left for them to get to point two. Fusion University, we're going to be expecting some character changes as well. Yeah, that is a respectable time bank for sure. Interesting, Fisher, you know, he wants to just try and make use of that blade before he swaps back. Uh, but Team Envy, we can't see the same kind of disjointed attack happen for them again because, again, Fusion University love those long, drawn-out fights, and they're going to start winning it out if it goes goes on too long. Team Envy, their uh, path to victory is going to be dive in really quickly, counterintuitive because you're running a death ball, but go in real quick, find those early kills, force fusion back. And Crimson is going to be able to combo with that Dragon Blade with his Nano. Here we go, the Grandma Juice is out. The EMP is going to make sure the Fisher doesn't have a way to get out. He's going to try to you know, get Bernard out of that mech. No resets for him, no value out of those two ultimates. You're investing two ultimates. And you came out with nothing. Team Envy are going to be on the back foot here for a while now, as Fisher is going to probably have to go back to spawn and change that character. Uh, potentially. So far, Fusion University haven't actually pressed their advantage. And there we go, an actual pick going the defense's way. But no, it's answered back. Jar takes down the long Chonsik, gone as well. Uh, Jar did go down after after the rally, did come on a line, unable to use that for this fight. Team Envy struggling to stay healthy as well. The Earthshatter going to be coming down from Trill. The only Reinhardt are in the field. Yeah, Elk is so low, and Trill is able to get him in the end. Bernard going to throw that self-destruct from the high ground, going to knock him, knock that mech down, unable to find anything from it. And Fusion University finally going to take advantage of this defense. This has been very discombobulating on both sides. Both teams struggling really to find their footing. Yeah, this is not the pacing that Fusion University are used to pl be playing at, but unfortunately for Team Envy, it's not for them either. Uh, both of these teams kind of up against some new conditions now. We saw how eager Trill and McGravy were to try and confirm those kills onto Nice and Elk, and unfortunately, without the rest of the team at the back, they couldn't quite do it, and that was good reset for Team Envy. They still have a minute and a half to finish things out. Streets phase is definitely one of the more uh, completable uh, areas of Nimbani. Well, a lot of this maps, actually. Graviton Surge now going to be coming from Fusion. University, no kills from that, but Trill is low, and finally he does get taken down. So this is a 6v5 for Fusion University on this defense. Team Envy's got some decisions to make. They've decided 
to seed that space, they're not going to try this without a full six. Yeah, and Fusion University now going to be comfortable pushing all the way up into the MV spawns. I wonder if it's just Snillo on this Sombra that's throwing a wrench in MV's gears. This looks like a completely different team from how they were attacking, or rather defending in those fights in round one. Snillo now looking to make usage of that EMP. <laughs> Nearly fell off. Okay, translocates back to safety, but that does mean that Fusion University is going to back off once again. A tactical reposition. Yes. Okay, not just for Reinhardt's. And so Team Envy now, with that self-destruct and that rally, going to be having that damage mitigation along with the support ultimate. So there's going to be ult upon ult here for this fight. Still, it's going to be waiting for one of the most important ones. That's going to be that EMFP. And now Trill was hacked. Earth Shatter is going to come down from it. Chong is sick. He's not going to get anything from it. Still, is still holding on to the EMP, though. Yeah, still waiting for the perfect moment, but if he waits too much longer, and McGravy's bomb will and find Pager not this time around, but it does get the trance out from Alarm. Fisher only a few percentage points away from that grab. This is an opening for Envy. Yeah, Crimzo is not going to have a transcendence for the remainder of this fight either, as Team Envy only has that sound barrier and that Earth Shatter. The sound barrier coming from Fusion University is going to come out first, and Alarm's going to get the kill on it to a drill. Jaru trying to shield bash, and is not going to get any value from the EMP. Finally coming out from Snillo, going to be hacking the rest of Team Envy. The self-destruct not getting anything as well, McGravy's gonna be DMX and Jar gonna get the kill onto Chomsik. So, no Reinhardt's in the field, but there are more bodies for Fusion University right now. Nice getting taken very, very low, very far away from that Graviton. A surge wants to get a little bit closer, and that's a really good way. But hey, we're in overtime now. Doesn't matter if you're able to get a Graviton surge, you're able to win the points. So Earth Shatter gonna come and get three down from Fusion University. The Transcendence was already there. No damage done to them as Trill is gonna be taken down once again. And Fusion University are gonna pull this out and tie this up one to one. Yeah, Fusion University, it was a scrappy. It wasn't pretty Overwatch, but they got the do job done. They halted the payload there on Streets phase, and they will be, you know, 1-1. One, one, certainly respectable. Fusion University getting just a little bit of a spook on control, potentially. Uh, but this is where we saw MV starting to fray. We had those same questions for Fusion University on their attacking round, but I think it was a little bit more clear that MV are not quite used to, you know, those team plays being as crisp as they were in their first round, and they're still, you know, trying to adjust to that because, w like, what might be good a Aggression from your main tank very quickly in the in a millisecond will turn into a mispositioning, right? Yep. And uh, I what started off that very last lost fight for Envy, but Trill kind of just like on a flank, you know, he it was like he was playing Sombra completely behind Fusion University, not quite sure what he was doing there if he's trying to set up a charge or something. Uh, but what did end up happening uh, in the gameplay was he just died. And then that was an immediate advantage for Fusion University, and they did not let that opportunity pass them by this time around. Close the door on Envy, and uh, they tie things up. Yeah, when you're able to maintain a numbers advantage throughout a minute long of fight, you're most likely going to be coming out mm -hmm. on a top. But we're going to find out who comes out on top by getting the three games first after this break.